What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another awesome Planet Fitness workout with me, Teddy Savage. I'm super excited to be back in the club, and I cannot wait to get you all back in as well. But before you do, make sure you check that crowd meter on your Planet Fitness app. That way you know just how many people are working out right now, and we can all practice social fitnessing, which is just keeping a safe amount of space between one another. Now, we're also asking you to mask up. Now, that means while you're actively working out, you don't have to wear it. But as you navigate through the gym, we are asking you to wear that mask. Now, requirements do vary per location. So please ask your local club if you have questions. Now, today's workout is going to be amazing because it's all about agility and stability. And agility is just connecting the dots between exercise and functional movement, while stability is all about core engagement and balance. We'll be working on both in circuits, so we'll work hard for 40 seconds and then rest for 15. But I want you all to remember, work at your own pace and take breaks when necessary. And you guys know what I like to say, before any great workout, you got to start with a great warm up. So let's get cooking, baby. All right. Before any dynamic workout, we got to start with dynamic movement. So let's do a couple of twists and reach, okay? Three and four. Four count. One, two, three, and four. Chest up. Shoulders back. Now, as you get warmed up, I really want you to know how important this is to any workout. What it's doing is it's getting blood flow to my muscles to optimize performance, but it's also offsetting injury by lubricating my joints. So it's very important that you focus on doing this just as much as you focus on doing the workout itself. As you do so, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Oxygen is key, especially if we're gonna be working with agility and stability. Three, two, one, and relax, outstanding job. Okay, so now I wanna get that core engagement, but I wanna move a little bit, all right? So I'm gonna do a shuffle, shuffle, knee tuck, Shuffle, shuffle, knee tuck, just like that. Three, two, one, let's go. So we're shuffling, and then we tuck that knee. Shuffle, shuffle, tuck that knee, good. Now this is good because it's getting lateral movement, which is my abductors, adductors, and then when I drive that knee, oh baby, that's all about that lower abdominal chain in my hip flexors, good. Chest up, chin up, eyes forward. We're gonna be doing a lot of lateral movement today, so focus on that. And remember, your warm-up should mimic your workout. So if you're moving left to right in your workout, you should be moving left to right in your warm-up. Good. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax, baby. Hey, good job, good job, good job. I'm so ready to get into it because it's all about exploring new things and learning as we move, okay? So I'm going to be doing bending reaches to really wake up my posterior chain. That's going to be my calves hamstrings, glutes, and low back. All right, here we go. Bounce a little bit. Get excited. Today is all about fun with fitness, baby. We got five, four, three, two. Go to a four count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Notice on four, I'm adding a small hop. This is called a plyometric element, and it's really good to burn calories because it also accelerates my heart rate to a degree, okay? Now that's good because your target heart rate zone is where you want to be and sustain throughout your workout. I'll show you from the side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now if you don't want to add that hot, that's okay as well. Just add a calf raise to it, all right? Again, I want you to move at your own pace and do what feels good to you, right? This is yours. Five, four, three, two, last one. <laughs> okay, baby. All right. So now we gotta get that oldie but goodie. You guys know I like jumping jacks, so let's get into it. Now remember, these can be modified as well. Step out to the side, come back. Step out to the side, come back. But if you really wanna get saucy, it's right here. Here we go, five, four, three, two. Let's start cooking, baby, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. One, two, three, you guys choose, baby. But all you gotta do is keep moving. Keep grooving. Big smile on your face, right? Eyes forward. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as we work today on our agility and our stability, always remember your posture. Your posture is important. So make sure you pronounce that chest, shoulders back, belly button to your eyes, and always smile big, baby. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Out. 
standing out stand. Okay, so our first circuit is gonna be all about agility. And I need you to use your imagination. I want you to imagine there's an agility ladder on the floor right in front of you. On that ladder, there's five spaces. Each space is 12 by 12 in dimension, okay? So it's not too big, but it's also not too small. Enough room to get both feet in and both feet out. Okay, so let's get into it. Our first agility move is gonna be high knees, one foot in each triangle, or each square, I should say. So we're gonna go five steps in one direction and then five steps back in the other. But take your time, focus on your coordination and your lateral movement rather than your speed. All right, three, two, one, 40 seconds, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, freeze, good. One, two, three, four, five. Now notice as I'm moving, one, two, three, four, five. I'm not only driving my knees, but I'm pumping my arms as well. One, two, three, four, five. This is extremely important because your body should move in synchrony, right? One, two, three, four, five, good job. And then when I'm getting to that fifth set, what I'm doing is holding it to practice on my stabilizers, good job. Now have your knees up. Make sure you drive up over your opposite leg, good, good. We got 10 seconds. You could do anything for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, good, seven, six, five, four, finish strong, three, two, one, and relax, baby. Oh, baby. Hey, look, that takes me back to when I was playing sports. And remember, we're all athletes, but guess what? Sports is all about life as well, and all about connecting the dots from exercise to functional movement, bringing them together. So let's get back into it. All right, so this next one is still lateral left to right, right to left, but we'll go one, two, one, two. Two feet in, two feet out. Same five squares, all right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, show time, let's go. One up, good, two up, that's right, three, uh-huh, four, and five, good job. Now we gotta go back, let's get it. Left foot first, so if you're moving left, your left foot should come up first. Good job, here is four, uh-huh, and five, awesome job. All right, take it out a little bit. Now let's go back, right foot first, one, uh-huh, two, two in, two out. Three, good, four, uh-huh, five, and come out. Take it out a little bit. As we go back, stay on your toes. Let's get it. One, uh-huh, two, good job, guys. Three, four, last one, five. All right, we got just enough time to get one more in either direction. Stay on the balls of your feet. Get your butt back. Shoulders over your knees, knees over your toes. Let's go. One, uh-huh, two, awesome job. Three, four, last one, best one, five. All right, we got to go back left. Got to go back left, finish, we're going to start. One, good, two, keep moving, three, four, last one, five, good job. Outstanding, outstanding, breathe in and out. Good, so this next one is going to be a boxer shuffle. So start with one foot up, one foot back, and as we move laterally, we switch what foot is inside of that agility square. Breathe in and out, ready, let's start with right foot in. Back foot back, chest up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Left foot is up now. One, two, three, four, five. Good, here we go. Keep moving, keep grooving. Good, we stop there. Stop, hold it. Now let's go again. Remember, this is all about combining exercise with functional movement. Notice, at no point am I standing straight up. I always keep a soft bend in those knees. This is important, this is crucial to offset injuries, good job. Uh-huh, one more. One, two, three, four, and five. Outstanding, that's good stuff. Good stuff, baby, I'm already shining. I'm already sweating and glistening. I hope you are as well. So this time, we're gonna do what we call an icky shuffle. So it's a three count. You start with one foot in and one foot out. So now the ladder is coming towards you and towards me, so we'll go one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Good, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get saucy. One, two, three. Good, that's two. Outstanding, that's three. Four, five, good job. Now we went forward, we gotta be able to go backwards. Remember your three count. One, two, three. One, two, three, that's two. One, two, three, three. Good job, four. 
Last one, five, good. Shake it out a little bit, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Ready, right foot in first, let's get it. One, two, three, hold it. One, two, three, that's two. One, two, three, three. Good job, this is working not only our lower body muscles, but it's also getting our heart rate up. All right, let's go ahead and go backwards. One, two, three, hold it. One, two, three, it's called the icky shuffle. And we're using an imaginary agility ladder. And guess how much that costs? Nothing at all. It's the best part about it. One more forward, one more backwards, let's get it. One, two, three, hold it. One, two, three, hold, that's two. Good job, three. Push yourself to be better, four. One, two, three, five, good. Shake it out, gotta go back. Who's ready? You're ready, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three, that's two. We're moving forward, backwards, left and right. Last one, and relax. Outstanding, outstanding, outstanding. Okay, good news is that first one is done. Great news is, let's rewind and go back to the top. Okay, so it's one foot in each. Take a deep breath in and out. And showtime. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Pump those arms as you're driving those knees. Hold it for step stability. Keep moving and grooving. Good job. One, two, three, four, five. And we're here. One, two, three, four, five. And we're using lower abs. Good job. And we're using hip flexors, stabilizers, abductors, and adductors. One more each way. One, two, three, four, five. Good. One, two, three, four, five. Outstanding. Outstanding. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. Good job. So remember, now we're still moving left to right, but we're going one, two, in, one, two, out. One, two, in, one, two, out. Remember, each square is 12 by 12. So try not to overstep. You go in, you come out. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's get saucy. One, good. Two, we're here. Three, good job. Four, always start five with the foot that's closest to the direction you're moving in. So because we're moving left, we start with the left. One, good job. Two, keep my arms moving. Three, good. Four, and five, outstanding. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Moving back, here we go. Ready, up, one. Here we go, two, push yourself, three. Good. Four. Into your nose. Five. Come on out. Good. Again, shake it. Shake it. Remember, stay athletic. Soft knees. Let's go. Left. One. Last time. Two. Finish strong. Three. Knees down. Four. Butt back. Five. And relax. Good work. Good work, team. I feel so good. I feel so good because we're connecting the dots between exercise and how our body moves. That's what I'm talking about, okay? So it's boxer shuffles. Let's start with the right foot forward this time. And let's get moving. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it. Come on back. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Soft knees. One, two, three, four. Last time. Five. Good. Let's go back and forth. Back. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right. One more in either direction. Believe in yourself. Achieve it. One, two, Three, four, five, hold it here, soft knees, chest up. Let's go, one, finish strong. Two, three, four, five, and relax. Oh baby, shake those legs out, shake them out, shake them out. If those parts start burning, because we're keeping our knees bent, just smile and say, where you been all my life, okay? So, let's go back. Now we got icky shuffle. So we took our ladder from going this direction to now going this direction, okay? Remember, start with your right, inside, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, here we go. Breathe in, and out. All right, let's get it. One, two, three, hold it. One, two, three, that's two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. All right, we gotta go backwards, let's go. There we go, that's number two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, good job, shake it out. Check it out, remember, footwork, coordination over speed, okay? Here we go, ready? One, two, three. One, two, three, good. I believe in you, that's three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. Let's go on back, how about that? One, two, three, hold it. One, two, three, agility means exercise, going with functional movement, having fun, 
and relax. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Oh, baby, we are cooking now. And I love when it gets spicy. I like to add a little spice in the gumbo. And we're all chefs today. Okay, so guess what? First circuit, done, out of here. Second circuit, balance, stability, core engagement, all right? So, our first movement will be a single leg reach, all right? And really what I want you guys to work on is those stabilizers that run alongside of your legs. You'll also feel it in your hamstrings right here, which are part of the posterior chain. Let's go right leg down first. Hinge at the hip as if your body was a seesaw. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, right leg down, reach, and come back up. Good, reach, and as you come back up, you so nice and slow, okay? Try not to go too fast. And if you can't reach your toes, that's okay. Reach for your shin and come back up. If you can't get to your shin, reach for your knee and come right back up. The goal here is to go nice and slow. Give your body enough time to feel the stabilization, kind of firing off a bit. Good, and again, you'll feel this in those hamstrings and you'll feel it in those stabilizers that run alongside the side of your legs. Good, remember your body is a seesaw. Okay, your hips all the fulcrum, all right? So we go down and up. We got 10 seconds. Finish stronger than you started. That's a mental commitment. Commit to it. Five, four, three, two. Last rep. Best rep. And relax. Oh, baby. I like it, man. I like it because everything in life involves stabilization. All right, so anything that you can think of that you may do on your day-to-day -day abilities, this is involved, okay? So let's go left foot down. We're gonna be reaching with our right hand to your range of motion. Three, two, one, let's go. So reach and replace, nice and slow. Reach and replace, good job. Come on down, good, and back. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, here we go. We're more than halfway done, guys. And that's what I'm talking about. Got about 10 seconds left. Finish stronger than we started, chest up, chin up. Eyes forward, pronounce five, four, three, two, one, and relax, outstanding. All right, so now this next one, I want you in a T formation. So one foot down, one foot up, arms extended. I want you to just tap that toe with the opposite hand, okay? Three, two, one, T formation right here. Tap and come back. Now, if you feel like you're wobbling and you need to put your off hand onto a wall, or a chair, please do so. I want you to be safe. I want you to feel accomplished. I want you to move at your own speed. Again, this one is really going to work that balance and stability. So if you need to tap that toe down, then do so. Come on back up, baby, smile, have fun. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax, baby. All right, that's not take up a lot of time. Let's go right back in. Right leg down, left leg up, T formation. And let's go opposite foot, opposite hand. Work the balance, work that stability, and through your nose, out through your mouth, good. As you see, I'm wobbling sometimes too, and that's okay, this is the judgment-free zone, baby. We're not judging one another, we're just taking one step towards our goal with every repetition. That's what the journey is, one step at a time. Trying to be better today than we were the day before. Reset, we got five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and relax, oh baby. Oh baby, guess what? The first one is out of here. Good news is we gotta go back in. So let's not take too long. Let's go back to the top. Right leg down and let's reach. Good. Come on back up, nice and slow. If you wanna challenge yourself, try not to tap that foot down and just bring the knee in front. Good. Just like so. Go to your desired range of motion, okay? We got 10 seconds left. Finish strong. Last 10 is always the best, 10, five, four, three, two, and relax. Oh baby, take a breath in, and out. All right, let's go opposite leg. Remember, we're working stability, so engage that core. Ready? Let's go, left leg down, right leg reaches, and we're back. All right, hips, all the fulcrum to a seesaw. Come on back, good. Again, if you wanna challenge yourself, try to keep that leg up. In through your nose, out through your mouth. And if you need to tap down, that's okay because balance is not perfection. It's just working a little bit harder. Five, four, 
three, two, one, and relax. Good job. All right, we got to go back to T formation. We got 40 seconds left on each exercise. I believe in you, believe in you as well. Ready, left leg down, right leg up, and let's go. Tap that toe with your opposite hand and reset. Remember, this is all about balance. So if you start feeling yourself wobbling a bit too much, just grab a chair or place your hand that's off on the wall, okay? Tap that toe if you need to and go right back in. 15 more seconds. Try to keep the top of your right leg parallel to the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, so here it is. Here it is, last exercise, last set. Commit to yourself. We're gonna do this together, and let's get it done, baby. Here we go. Right leg down, left leg up. Breathe in, and out. And let's get into it. Keep that left leg up. Now take opposite hand to that toe, and come right back. This is also a crunch from a standing position since we're kind of crunching over and bringing that opposite hand to opposite foot. So you're working abdominals as well. And this is an amazing exercise to challenge our balance and our stability. Remember, every workout doesn't have to be super intense for it to be effective. 10 seconds, last 10, last 10. Here we go, five, four, three, two, last rep, and relax. Amazing job, team. Now, we got saucy, we got dynamic in our warm-up. Now let's cool it on down, how about that? You all earned it, all right? Let's go, chest up, shoulders back. Take your right hand across the midline of your body. Really stretch those obliques and serratus, chest up. Breathe in and now, switch sides. Take that left hand across the midline of your body, but try not to lean over too much, all right? This is the midline, we're crossing it with the hand. Here we go, in. And now, good job. All right, let's do a couple of windmills, all right? But don't reach down for the toe. Just trunk twist with it, okay? Good. Make sure we pivot on the opposite foot to safeguard against strain to our low back. Three, two, one, and relax. Last one, feet together. Up tall like a tall oak tree. Exhale, cascade down, hold it. Hold it, chest to your thigh. Nose to the knee, baby. Relax, one more time, inhale, exhale, cascade down. Hold the back of your legs, chest to your thigh, nose to your knee, and relax. Whoa, that was an amazing workout, and we did it together. And when we do anything together, it makes it that much sweeter. I hope you guys felt great with it. And remember, we're here Monday through Friday. Maybe different trainers, definitely different workouts, but the same energy. We just want everybody to feel great about fitness. And remember, if you're coming back into the gym, let's remind ourselves to be clean considerate. That way we can all gym confidently. Until next time, love yourself, love on each other. I'm out of here. Peace.